Hey, I'm here with the <clears> lovely, <throat> lovely David. Hello, David. How are you? Ciao, Bello, but the moon. Sister yeah, Karen, I'm very well, you. given the circumstances. <laughs> yeah, Why lots of button, love. Um, nice I to be here. I thought was something else, David. I thought the button moon was something else. Sun and moon, bit of rhyming slang there, bit of um, AB, indigo, rhyming slang for sun and moon, bud and moon. But it's also in a term of endearment, and it means uh, love and, uh, and respect as well. So you were kind of right. It's all right, well... Agree to disagree. Yeah, and I thought it was about button moon meant you love me, so I was always going button moon, but you meant sun and moon. <laughs> Mr. Spoon. Anyway. Yeah, back in the first day. First hangout. <laughs> first hangout of 2021, and what a year so far. Yeah, and it's just glad to see the back. Oh, he's still there. We haven't lost David right at the beginning, have we? David! He's back. I had a glitch. We're on. It's all good. Oh, good, good, good. I thought I'd yeah. lost you. Anyway, yeah, David's part of um, it's part of our group, really, aren't you, one way or another? The fam. Yeah, the fam and the clan. Sun and Moon uh, United, uh, etc. It's uh, It's been a privilege and an honour. You introduced me to uh, oh, many no, and various... David, it's David, Dave is another good friend of mine, and we talk quite a lot, so that's good, isn't it? Privately, we're active. Yeah, it's not just um, content creators, and uh, yeah, we we don't just have a, I don't know, a commercial business public. We have a private, uh, um, yeah, really, I'd say engagement, but that's resonance, a military. Resonance. Way of, yeah. We have a private resonance. We resonate privately. David, you've got a new yeah. icon. I have indeed. Amun Ra, Elohim, Amen Ra, Starfara, Egyptian, um, Thoth, Trismis, Hermegestus, etc. Um, yeah, I've used it on the Book of Faces. I'm um, I'm happy to say, yes, yeah, so I've switched up and changed the channel a bit uh, regarding moving to the private and uh, building up some hype with where we're going and what we're doing. So, yeah, Are the fist. I think you're leaving a bit more at the moment, David. Say that again, sorry. People needing you a bit more at the moment. <clears throat> I've become popular. Um, I don't know about need. They uh, they desire information, um, representation, and um, it's uh, it's the same as it was. It's just uh, the popularity with regards to the fear that's out there at the moment has forced man to, under uh, these conditions and uh, um, requirements, and I, I don't know about orders, but requests from... The uh, Westminster's and the Prime Minister there, they, um, they've got time now. So they, um, they are wondering and they're reading and they're asking and they're noticing. And um, it's getting a bit, uh, yeah, where Kevin's work has helped. Kevin and Graham with the PIP, you know, and uh, DWP interaction. And then uh, we're getting sanctioned more as another military word. Um, and um, it's, uh, yeah, solitary. Some are solitary. We're in a very Work nice place at the moment, aren't we, David? I mean, this whole thing. I mean, we know that most of it isn't real, but it's still not a nice place to be with all the pressure. Pound, pound, pound every day. Yesterday, there was some executive yeah. order that went and uh, means that there's now, um, you can't trade with most of Chinese companies. But you think they had a UN military meeting there in 2019. So if, I mean, Nigel, who lives there, says that nobody in China knows about that, 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 that game. So nobody knows about it. Well, I didn't know about it. Um, and when you break it down, it looks like cartoons. But if they had this big thing, it's got UN and all the armies are there. How could they be broken up and having all this argument with China when they owe all this money to them? I find it all really crazy. It's all just part of the script of the game to keep us all upset and worried and wondering what's going on <laughs> it's part of the grip yeah the business the politics the fear debt system that we uh, see um yeah england it's the, the same it's, and of tricks, isn't it? it's a pile of tricks mm -hmm. the politics pile of tricks that's right it's so a military we're all considered at war are we still at war Warship, worship, warfare, all's fair in love and war. And um, whether you are ignorant and tacitly acquiesce to what's going up, and um, yeah, it's uh, 
to you know the general public if you're wondering no i'm not at war i'm um, completely private and with god and jesus and allah and uh, rama dharma vishnu etc whatever your you know um position there but uh, if you're in the general public you know and uh it's, uh, it's it's just a position there that we uh we, we see ourselves in and money debt yeah china um asia um but mostly china yeah and the uk of gb um, they've supposedly, got power stations. supposedly david they owe a lot of money to china so why would you do this to china when you owe them all this debt yeah, so if I say, yeah. I owed, say I owed a thousand pounds to you, but then all I do is say, well, don't talk to David. We're not going near David. Don't go near David. We're staying away from David. And I owe you money. It doesn't doesn't fit, does it? Reminds me when I used to be a DJ in Greece and uh, people, yeah, when I used to be in the circuit as a entertainer and so forth. And uh, you'd try and chase the money from the nightclub manager and he wouldn't answer his phone. Yeah, you remind you just took me back to exactly that's what people do that owe you money. They don't they they um, obfuscate and uh, <laughs> try to subjugate in many ways. Uh, sorry, they avoid you and don't want to pay. <laughs> Same old tricks been going on for millennia. DJs, entertainers, uh, anybody that owes anybody money, commerce in general. Um, unless you're in a you know a respectable, honourable contract agreement, etc., and then you're very lucky. You know those that do, then uh, you count yourself lucky there there aren't many of them i know <laughs> i yield yeah well it's a bit of a strange place we're put in at the moment i think but i don't know what to say really about that what's what's some topics we can talk about today david you know everybody loves etymology don't they yeah the root root language have a look at the b-o-c-k saga um, brought to me by Brother Anders, direct from Sweden, from Sweden. You've heard of Helsinki. Okay, everybody, you should have heard of that. You should have heard of Sweden, Norway, and um, and uh, the Netherlands, you know, up that way. And we've, uh, we've heard of V-Kings, V-I, V-I, and Kings. Um, the, the two kings is uh, you know, thinking, and um, as king, we've gone through a lot of etymological roots and linguistic references, root languages. Well, um, the B-O-C-K saga, I believe uh, other channels and content creators have started to. And previously, you know, I'm not the first, but shout going out to Anders in Sweden and the Swedish family that uh, enlightened me into the root language of the Norse, Nordic, um, you know, Finland, Finn and land. Um, here's one for you. And um, whilst researching all of that, all the content, all the countries that end in land, Finland, England, I'll leave it there. You can work out and find the rest. I'm sure ones will be popping into your consciousnesses now. Are allegedly the ones that were frozen over when the pole shifted, the pole, magnetic pole shifting. This is still etymologically based. I found it through the uh, root language of the BOCK saga. Sar and Gar, what does that mean? To give, to receive uh, in itself, saga, the Star Wars saga. The, uh, the there, not not every country finland did england did um i can't think of anyone else i have to look in the i have to look up how many lands well, there are these froze yeah. over allegedly when the magnetic pole shift happens um the 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 um the pole and the um the p of the pole you've got the p of the pole the p pole and you've got the whole e land poland um, poland there's many. See, I told you they'll all be popping in now. The room will be going on like the chat room. Shout going out to all those that have just typed a, a, a country with the word land in it. Um, Swaziland, shh, new Swaziland. That's one that I got. <laughs> but we digress. The, uh, there's loads to look at. And I am i didn't need in the middle of looking at past syntax, quantum, DWM. I've got them. I've got them. Listen, Finland, Russell. Iceland, Ireland, Netherlands, Poland, Switzerland, Thailand. I've just, just done a word search there, haven't you? Uh, yes, yeah, I New see, Zealand, yeah. England, Scotland, Somaliland. And All right, let, let the rumour get some in there. We can confirm <laughs> that. When we're What's so, Puntland? What's Puntland? So that's to do with, so they say, I um, don't believe my word for it. I'm just a messenger of the word of the, uh, you know, the scribes. And uh, I looked into the box saga. It's about a family that have got the historical conceptualization it was never written it was never recorded it was never printed it's word of mouth by man for man thousands of years old 
And when you look at the people of the whole E land, the book, the Bible, the New Testament, the holy book, H O L and Y. Now we go H O L E and then space, capital E, whole and E, whole E land, the P pole, the whole E land. Um, the magnetic north um, was once at um, Switzerland area. Um, when I say that, the holy land of the people was there. You've got a pole with a P on the top, and um, that's the I. The pole and the P, think of a little I, lowercase I, etymological root language references, and, uh, you know, um, syntactic structures, the linguistics, and so forth, all in one. Um, how did Thailand, Thailand, how did that freeze over? That's not, that's not anywhere near us, that's much lower down, so is New Zealand. So I'm paraphrasing and it's new, it's new to me relatively, so and I haven't got any visual references. All of the Northern Hemisphere countries, he did say, I believe, now you've said that, to answer that question, thank you. You're very sharp and concise, that's why we love you. Nothing gets past Button Moon um, yeah. and the consciousness. She's very astute and sharp, so he said, um, I forget the man that's narrating it. He's uh, he's on a lot of the videos. I should you look at the box saga on YouTube now as you search and listening to this. Um, those in the room and on the playback, you will find a brother there, um, about fifty odd, um, you know, um, middle aged, uh, greyish hair. He's talking. I forget his name, um, but he is on a lot of the open source videos, and he mentions the northern countries that have got land in them will have frozen over. Um, at the point of the previous, um, you know, pole shift um, going from and to and where it is now, it's at the North Pole. As we know, we're on a um, 33 is it degree axis um, offset, an elliptical orbit as such. So to say, if you are of that position of the round um, and you're not into the flat, then, uh, you know, that's in itself another um, previous hangouts of many hours. But they say... And from this family, the Bok family, the last great Bok has died. And the um, before dying, he passed on the story to this. Um, oh, I'm going to have to search for it um, to give it you. But the man is narrating it. And uh, he comes up with the root language. And uh, we're looking at runes and um, such things as and legacies of. And I'm like, boom, thank you, Sweden. Hey, David, um, you get this? On, our, on, on research, right? Mm -hmm. When, say, around Edward the Fourth, Edward the Fifth, then it goes William the Third, then it goes Henry the Seventh, Henry the Eighth, maybe a little bit before that, it might have been Henry the Sixth was first, then Edward the Fourth, Edward the Fifth. They spoke French. We were all speaking French. Only the royal family spoke English. What's that about? <laughs> Madness, isn't it? Why were we speaking French? That sounds like the French ran us then. Um, why were we? Um, that's a good question. That's uh, indicative of a bit into our history that they did because they don't ever mention it. But it said it. I watched this video. It said we were speaking French. Allegedly, um, yes. Uh, many. I'm looking. I'm sorry. I'm going on to uh, my search. 1500s, 1500s. Say we were speaking French, and the, and uh, English wasn't here, except with the royal family. I have to take your word for that. I just look at the brain. Just on our research, we came across that in one of our videos. Floss, shut up moaning. Floss is moaning because she wants to go in the bedroom with Ellie and Ellie shut the door again, hasn't she, Floss? Jim Chesner. That's right, chat room. For those that will have typed Jim Chesner, that is the man who I said is about 50, middle-aged and grey hair, bearded man, smoking his joints and jingos or whatever they are and talking about the box saga, Welcome to Hell. Um, incredible um, etymological references, person, persona, military, person L is a military, you know, uh, way there that we've looked at. Latin is always at the, uh, at the, the forefront of it. But before Latin, obviously, we had the Zoroastra and um, the Illuminati. Sorry, that's Illumin and Nazi together, bloodlines that we found as well. So it goes way back. It goes well back before. But that well, story. The big German influx in things, you know, in, in, the, in the royal family, just, just a big German yeah. influx in things. They also had an Germanic. empire. But at the same time, France had an empire and we had an empire. So, yeah, it's hard to work out. Are you, out aware, the of the... Are you, you know, aware? While they're, while they're conquering the world, the Barbary ships are conquering us. And how can that happen? At the same time, you've got Tartaria and the Ottoman Empire and the Mongol Empire and all this. So how can they be empires if they're part of Tart Tartaria? It doesn't all add up. None of it adds up. The more you look into it, the more confusing it becomes. 
Have you heard of the Germanic language as well? And um, also, you just you just made me think. Well, allegedly in heaven, there was a, there was a war and a battle, and they wanted to come down and uh, you know um, uh, Gabriel throwing out Lucifer, the first of God's right hand man. But hang on a minute, we're in uh, we're in heaven on the Creator, and uh, here we go with uh, with uh, with them um, arguing and going against the good the the Creator. Now, is that the Lord? Or is that God or is that creator? So like you've just said, how can the um, the Tartarian Empire, empires, they have coups and they have disagreements and we have, um, you know, a mutinies going afoot. And we even allegedly had it um, in the beginning where there was the uh, the book of Moses, Genesis and et cetera. And we lead into the new books, the, the, the old, the even the know, old, the the old Testament was written. Would have had Star would have had pyramids. And most countries have these pillar buildings. So we were ruled by one lot of people. Because those pillar buildings know. go from America to Australia. I couldn't say. I, cannot, I haven't got into that. But um, again, I wasn't around then. So I couldn't source some when you, wipe, when you wipe history out, though, isn't it? When you wipe a history out and lie about it, because the potato famine isn't what they say it is. I mean, that's really confusing because... I got into that because this fog came down and killed the crops. And I thought, well, there you go. And it wasn't a, pl a blight, it was a fog. But then when you read up about it, they'd had the blight for a few years before, then it got bad for 10 years. And then, you know, and at the same time, there's all these, uh, I came across this guy on a radio show and he said, there's loads of burials, you know, like mounds. And you're like, and at the same time, they're exporting masses of stuff to the UK, but also the, the Irish aren't being, there's something wrong. The people are dying. At the same Irish time, they're exporting masses of stuff to us. So that doesn't all add up because if you're starving, you're not going to be able to work, are you? So was that the Moors? And they got rid of the Moors, which is the dark people. It's just hard to work anything out because nothing ever adds up. I've got Irish family and connections there and I could speak to a lot of Irish. And uh, um, yes, I've been looked into this myself and uh, interesting, very interesting. His story is written by the victors of the wars so as we found yeah um, through history his story etymological reference in there his and story um his story is the uh, is is uh, is bullishizing and mythology um is actually truth you look at history as sisters just said there she's quite right again it's uh, it's bull at shizen um um and uh, <laughs> mythology mythology is really just accurate conceptualization of pure fact check facts and uh, i'll leave it there uh, well said and agreed uh, here here sustained bravo and then don't forget as well as that it's a bit like we've done this before when you were on a hangout and everybody was well I'm I'm, I'm English and I'm and I well, I'm not English I'm Greek and I'm this and I'm this and I'm this so nobody's actually from their original country really they we've all come from different places ah we've mixed the bloodlines of the tribes of which we were told not to in some respects yes and the lineages in, in this country we got more Egyptian DNA in the white Anglo-Saxon Protestant English Anglo oh, I'm British yeah, they tried oh, to yeah. admit the and fact that the Egyptians were here that's what DNA. they were <laughs> <laughs> well, we got obelisks in London, Washington, and the Vatican to celebrate that um, gypsy. Yeah, there's one in Marlborough. The field a great big one up there. I took a picture it's on one of my videos the other day out in the country. Like, why would they put that all the way up there? The Golden Compass has got a film. Um, uh, has got the film, The Golden Compass, by uh, one of my favourite directors. Not that I'm a big fan of Hollywood, but I have in the past succumbed. I'm not a saint. I'm not perfect, and I do like to. Uh, wind down with um fantasy adventure m night shlalalamanon and i do you like the, uh, your the mind on something else occasionally don't you david you have to watch something else to get your mind off all the other stuff that's rolling around and he in that for indeed and that's what i'm proceeding to say that this director m night um he's a knight of the uh of the uh, you know elements of he produces some out there zany um, very uh, much eye candy and different uh, script, non, um, you know, like uh, fictional. It's heavily fictional, non-factual, but the, the Golden Compass has, um, has a scene in it where they're on a boat and they're with gypsies gypsies the gypsies of uh, of the sea and they um they i'm like gyps gypsies are oh, e gypsies um egypt and gypsies brought to me by ad initially in um, in derby on a conversation about 
um, the gypsies because I put a video out saying I am a traveller and I'm an ethnic minority. You know, I like to travel around and I like to um, do the good work of and spread the word. And my ethnicity is tra traveller. And if you look at the, um, the Romani gypsies and the Irish gypsies, it is a matter of a lawful objective and perspective. They, um, they very seldom get harassed by the officers of the Crown of, uh, of London and so forth. Now, why is that? And I put out the video and the uh, actual, um, you know, evidences of from Ireland itself, not just from me and, uh, you know, uh, Facebook or wherever. It was referenced by, and I'll leave it for you to find the videos on my channel, where we've got uh, a nice little way of saying to the officers of the Crown, you know, and they say, who are you and what do you, where do you come from? And there's uh, David with a quick reminder that if you say, you are a traveller, you're not necessarily a gypsy, but um, I have got Irish, Italian, English and Greek lineage, blood, DNA. I'm a quattro from RJ and part of me um, is connected to the uh, the, the brothers um, in the Republic of and the northern part of the island of Ireland. Um, and uh, yes, the gypsies, the travellers, the Romanis. Um, however, well, you know what else is really you sort want of to bug? say that, you know. When you, when you look at our pictures, that, right, yeah. you can find Edward the Third, which is a long time before Edward the Fourth, right? You know, it might be a hundred years, but Edward the Fourth married a dark-skinned person, and dark-skinned people were there the whole time. So it looks like Eb, uh, Henry the Sixth, Edward the Fourth, Edward the Fifth, William the Third, uh, Henry the Sixth, Henry the Seventh. I just can't remember. Then you've got um, Elizabeth the First, Queen and Mary of Scots. They all had dark skin in them, and I think that's why Victoria had a white. Um, Elizabeth had a white face because she's obviously a darker person. But so there's all these darker people there suddenly in the royal family. So we've mingled. Why are there still black people then? If we're mingling and when you come down the line, people have turned white again. I was just a bit like, well, where, why aren't we more dark skinned? Well, there's, you've touched on something that's very controversial and political there. I'm going to be careful as I tread, but they're obviously that's the monarchy and the royal family that you're talking about, not the indigenous land masses that aren't connected to well, the they terra totally firma. Lied about, England, uh, England. About anyway, haven't they? Um, they explain that half um, of it's dark skinned. I like to just say dark skinned people. I don't like to say, I just leave it as we're light skinned people and they're dark skinned people. There was a lot more dark skinned people, but we didn't turn dark or stay dark. Um, Look at today. One at a time. One at a time, um, I forgot, I've lost my thread, sorry. Um, <laughs> I've confused him. It was important, it was irrelevant to what you were saying though, but um, Italian, Italians aren't just Italian basically, and I've got the Jeremita side of it um, that's um, linked to, there's a lot of um, buildings without any rocks, I forget the name of them, there's like 8,000 um, legendary towers in Egypt and uh, the island of Sardinia, I forget the names, they've got no cement used with them and the uh, big gold towers, massive, built, um, you know, freestanding, thousands of years old and um, the name of them escapes me, but they were built not by the Italians, the Sardinian the giants were there as well, apparently, uh, allegedly uh, originated the uh, redhead giants of Kandahar and things of the Middle East and and worked their way through to Italy and Italy, Italian genetics aren't just Italian, Itali it's uh, a combination and it says the darker skinned family members and bloodlines um, that created Italians uh, and uh, obviously the, the house of God, the Vatican, the papacy and all the, you know, Romanus Pontifexes and it's, it's interesting but those names um, chat room, if you can find that name of those towers from Italy that escapes me now, that's the lineages what the Italians now have that come from. And it's very interesting, yes, uh, um, the, the monarchies, I didn't know about that. You've just enlightened me, uh, you know, I'm not a know-it-all and all of that, but that fascinates me as well and it doesn't surprise me um, what you've said there, not at all. It's just nothing is what it seems to be. That's what it is. Nothing's what you think it is. You've got all this history and then when you actually go and research it for yourself, you come out with a different history once you start looking around. So it is there, but you've got to find it yourself and people don't research. And then on research, we come across masses of different stuff. And I think it's quite confusing because basically, you know, even in America, you can find presidents that are dark skinned. You know, it's like, what, what, what is all this? <laughs> Nothing is what it's supposed to be. Yeah, and I've, and I've heard somebody said to me in an email once, why is it in the round world everything's alive, but 
when you go into the flat world, it seems what you find is more true. I went, I like that. I'm going to repeat that. The first instance, I can, and that, we this is the first about instance. That last night, David, that we might be in a parallel universe. And um, okay, this yeah. one we're in right now, this one isn't a very nice one. The free Nelson Mandela effect, effect, effect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's like, everything's crazy. It's just crazy. Yeah, Lord. It's I, I and I. And it just. We should, never, we should never have had a television. We should have just carried on talking to each other. That's what I reckon. I don't know what you'd have put in its place, but television has just damaged loads of people. Tell live vision, tell our vision. We used to sit round the campfire, um, um, talking to spirit from the sky, spirit from the fire, smoking a peace pipe on the uh, indigenous Indians and uh, what Aztecs, Mayans, and Incas and so forth, tribes, herbalists, uh, you know, um, peace um, keepers of the time, not peacemakers, peacekeepers, and smoking the peace pipe. And then we go from the fire. And uh, we go to the to, and telling a tale and telling a vision to the tell I vision. Yeah, more etymological references. I've covered before, but I just started slipping. And also, the world of the globe and the world of the flat, they're, two, they're the two different realms. And you either believe in the ball, where you're travelling Mach 80 and going in three different directions, or you believe the other one. I think that's, that's, the, that's the two realms. They're Not so either. different. And if you believe in the globe, which don't people don't realise, the global thing is just a business. It's all a business. It's a business. But um, if you believe in that, your whole world is different to the ones that believe that it's not. Uh, shout going out to Norb's Universal Disclosure and uh, the 21st of the 12th 2020 video that he's done there. Comments on his videos. If you don't know who Norb's is, why not? And um, I will put the link in when we go live and uh, we're in the chat room. Um, premiere in but Norb's Universal Disclosure HD 2020 uh, you know release that a lot of content creators have taken from and not referenced and monetized his videos and he gave you permission to do that and uh, gone round in many languages around the realm he's uh, got some comments in there and he actually says that uh, um, not him on the comments on his video where uh, he says that um, Martin Kenny has professed that the world is actually round. And I'm like, wow, how things turn around. I don't know if this is true. If anyone, if anyone out there, let me finish. I've started, so I'll finish my love. If anyone out there has got um, a clip or a video where Martin Kenny has allegedly said the world is round, I'd like to see it because I haven't seen this cosmic egg um, revelation. And I'm aware of who Martin Kenny is, who Norbs is and what work they do and the cosmic egg. And um, the obviously flat earth uh, paradigm, you know, uh, what do we call it? Uh, multiverses. And um, yeah, interesting. I'll leave it there. I yield. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Um, That's why I'm well, asking. We're not, we're not round anyway. So I've got a bit of information for you. I found out that um, Russia used to own Canada in the 1800s and they sold it back to America for six million dollars or whatever it was. But it made me realize that. On a map, because America's at one end with Alaska pointing out and then you've got Russia up the other end and they say the Bering Strait's only about 60 miles and they can see each other and we know that's not true. They must be looking at separate pieces of land that don't belong to us in our realm. They're almost in our realm, they're kind of in our realm, but that means that Russia's looking at a piece of land there and America's looking at a piece of land over there. Oh. I so I maybe the it. missing land. Everybody thinks the missing land is miles away. It's obviously next to it, uh, next to it, either side. <laughs> we don't go there, do they? They don't even travel across the Bering Straits. They have to come all the way across Europe. <clears throat> so if you want to go from Russia to America, you've got to come all across Europe to get to America. That's why you know that America's up one end and Russia's up the other. You see, this is why I do law and about um, souls and stuff. I like to do things that's tangible and that can actually, um, you know, help mankind's consciousness and uh, ground us and protect us in the times of the four horsemen of the apocalypse upon the horizon. That being um, Bezos, uh, Billy Go Gates, Zuckerberg 
and um, Elon Musk with a fifth one in the wings in case one of them gets damaged. That would be um, Klaus Schwab, the founder of the World Economics Forum. I, uh, I love this topic and we're in dangerous territory. I love it a bit and it really is a nice escapism. But I like the practicality and uh, claiming back the soul from the Papa um, Papara C, the uh, Romanus Pontifex and so forth and looking at um, law, Romans, both people. Um, it's all relevant and I love it. But like I say, I've just... Uh, I've been on a good old journey and it's too much information for me and I find it a little bit futile as much as it is. Because every um, time you, know, you get into something, it leads you onto something else, doesn't it? You can never stop on the subject you want to be on. It, it just, you go, you think, right, I'm learning about something. Like, oh, and then when you get there, you've got more questions and then it leads on to something else. So it's a bit confusing, really. It's just a, it's just a myriad of stuff. It's just, it's just incredible what we live in. It's just incredible. Yeah, like we was on about, you've been on about mud floods and Tartaria. It's evident. It's real. Look at Gebekele Tepe, 12,000 years allegedly, so they say, you know, buried, buried. The, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the chat and the fist bumps and the hugs that I had with Dr. Sam Osmanovic actually out in Bosnia, looking at the pyramid and ravines of the Great Pyramid of the Sun. I'm like, well, who's filled that up and who's buried this and how have they they've done it? You know, there's places around everywhere that we find have been buried under, not just buildings that have got windows covered. There are there are too many things that, uh, that are buried and are deep, 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 you know, underground. So it's uh, it's evident. And I don't deny it. All I'm saying is it's uh, it's it's above, uh, well, uh, below, sorry, then sub. <laughs> it's a substance um, to me. And uh, I have, I'm looking above and uh, up to the heavens and, moving in different directions but it does fascinate me and i do escape into it often and um, and look what you lot are all doing uh, norbs uh, cosmic eggs and um, mud floods tartaria flatnesses uh, in the beginning he created well, you, know what, you know i reckon they're reckoning that the people oh. with the star forts could do uh, uh, energy weapons but when i looked at series's map that he made um you know obviously you've got antarctica in it which is an ice shelf and then you've got Greenland, which has got ice on it. And behind Russia, there should be an ice shelf. You can almost see that it's disappeared. So that must have been what melted. Goodness knows what they did. Uh, yes, I see what you're saying there. I like it. That video's on the channel. It's um, a square map. And, uh, you know, in a sense, he broke into Google Maps and got all that information through Appy Keys. But I'm quite surprised Google Maps let him take it. But... Um, you know, it they shows could. three squares. The square could. behind Russia is water, then there's us, and then there's Antarctica. They don't show anything else. He didn't get authority. He broke in. You've just given it away there. They didn't let him do anything. He broke in and got the something keys there. So uh, exactly. I'm surprised. You have to pay pay for it now. But he, he, he downloaded all the pictures and he downloaded the maps, which showed these three squares. Okay. One with water, one with us, and one with Antarctica in it. There's nothing else. They don't tell you what ground it or anything like that. They just show you these three squares. And it looks like a party pop-up book because obviously Antarctica is four or five miles high. And then you've got um, us and then the, the water behind Russia is lower. So when you look when you look at it, it looks a bit like a pop-up book. It's most bizarre. Mm -hmm. But I just think that America is looking at a piece of land that we've never that we don't go to and Russia's looking at a piece of land that we don't go to if they can both see land at either end of where they are it's got to be extra land so that land isn't very far away that land is right on top of us but nobody goes there because well they just don't go there we don't even go to the north pole or the south pole do we <laughs> yeah yeah, I know, treaters. Well, rockets going up, um, going off, and then they taper to the right, the left. They, they go, sorry, they don't go right or left. They go up, and then they go, rather than staying vertical, they go horizontal. And what is alleged to be said there is that they go, when we say outer space, we've got the paradigm of the area that we're in now with the firmament as written in the good book, not my, you know, with the ones that have researched this and the ones that are with them, the great Lord and the, the most high and etc. will know that there is an alleged firmament uh, above protecting. And at times when the, uh, the time is right and um, the rockets will go and they will per permeate through the filter of the permanent, the firmament, and they will go to outer space, which is the space outside of the alleged, Firmament, not necessarily up 
into the black sea of the cosmic uh, celestial um, universal space, but there is a space as in um, um, Ebird, Captain Richard I'm not sure Ebird. Uh, real, though. Yeah. He just so, looks like another actor where the programmes they made about him were made for us. They weren't. They no, weren't I'm not saying he's valid. I'm just saying, as, as what he said, right. there is when we say outer space, you've, you've missed the point, there is a space outside of the firmament, like the Truman Show and things like that, then there you go, and that's Hollywood. I'm not saying that's real either, uh, the truth in plain sight. There's allegedly a firmament and a dome above a flat plane. When the certain times of the year arise and celestial 21st of the 12th, 2020s come about, then you can get through. And when a rocket goes up and they go to allegedly Mars, Moon, etc., cetera, um, Van Halen and other belts and uh, layers of universes. Maybe that's what and, they've done. Galaxy. Maybe they've got through the and they've been talking to, to the other side. And that's why we're yeah. such a mess. The outer space is through that circle and you've got the rings in the Pyrenees map there and other such maps, you know, that we've looked at and studied. Then, See, this isn't my subject. I'm not qualified at all to speak about this. All I'm saying is that rockets go up and they taper off horizontal and they don't stay vertical. You've all mostly seen that video, I would have hoped, where that amateur rocket hits something and goes donk and stops. There's nobody up there stopping it. Nobody's arm's that big to reach up and stop that rocket it clearly stops and spins and falls back down as if it's hit um uh, or something there's rockets and things in china and um, making strange patterns that's been seen on videos and homegrown videos there's rockets um and, uh, and and pentagon videos where dots have come and fired at the rockets and disabled them we've had mass disarmament of nuclear um, armories uh, at the same time by dots in the sky. So some things happening that we're not, you know, I'm not just here to talk about this, but uh, as we got into this territory and rockets going up, NASA ones that taper off horizontal are going to outer space, but across and, uh, you know, uh, uh, through and then to that outer space. You get me, so this stuff. Yeah. I think so. The e-bird, I don't know. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Productions of... <laughs> Yeah. It's a bit crazy, isn't it? Mr. B and 43s is a channel that I do. Have you ever watched him and his channel? Mr. MBB333. Fantastic stuff on that, you know. Yeah, right. make a note. When we're on the replay, and everybody in the chat room, if you've seen that, you will know exactly what I'm on about. He's got about 449,000 subscribers. And he gets thousands of hits within minutes of, you know, putting his videos up. But they are some of the most entertaining and controversial. Um, make a note, trust me, when you get there, you'll be like, oh, David. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yeah, you love his channel. Mm. Thank you, David. Well, maybe you could put a couple of links in afterwards or something. My pleasure. My duty. My honour. <laughs> How's things with you then in this horrible Lyra? See, is you coping okay and everything? Lyrus? Did you just coin a word there? Did you just coin yeah. a phrase? We're into that. Lyrus. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Fantastico. Bella Bella. Lyrus. Um, uh, may I borrow that? May I uh, may I take that elsewhere and use it? So do I have your permission and consent? Of course you can <laughs> use it. It's brilliant. And hopefully everybody will know what we're talking about. Um, uh, I like that a lot. Uh, I'm no COVID idiot and I'm not a pyramid, pyramid idiot. But uh, I've just um, come to the, the end of the object of my life's work and I'm moving um, man into a mass exodus of uh, the private realm. We're going from... Um, status standing in capacity that would be public legal and person and i'm going to allow got a premiere tonight at half past eight which is already passed at the point of this video going live but uh, we will be premiering two nights well if i did not get this and hangout uploaded i'll be able to put maybe the hangout that you're having in the description of this well, it's the 12th of Jan now and it will be at half past eight GMT tonight. But we're going to go yeah. from public and um, and legal and person and we're going to private law and man. And I have a grassroots homegrown process that's been developed as of uh, the, the work of many mans before me and scholars and self-scholars and academics alike. Yeah, and, you're uh, into common law, and, aren't you? No. Well, <laughs> yeah, sorry. You, you can be forgiven for that. I'll allow that, uh, that one. But I'm into, <laughs> Whoops, I'm into, so he's been told off. <laughs> I'm into uh, I'm into supreme laws, Abrahamic laws. Um, I've just um, released some documents, which has been given away for free 
um, a proclamation of uh, sovereignty explained uh, 2021 heavyweight edition that's free on our Facebook trust. It's been put on the channel in the comments there. And uh, yes, I'm into sovereignty. I am, um, I am uh, private and we use supreme laws, Abrahamic. Um, when we say that, we've got um, a lot of areas there that I won't go into now, but we're moving from um, public, legal and person to private law and man. Evidence of uh, life essence, incarnate, incarnation, proclamations. And uh, we're doing very well at the minute, very excited. And I've come to the end of the road with regards to the research and laws. So we use common law. We respect common law to, just to defend what you've said. Common law is prevalent and real and it's valid and it's useful, but it isn't useful to defend pro rights and property. It's, it's, it's a social governance contract of which example would be you, you and I, all of us expect to walk down the street and not get stabbed and shanked, you know. That would be your common law duties of obligation, some of them. Commit no harm, injury, loss, and fraudulent dealings. When you speak to man, be respectful. Do unto others as you want done unto yourself. You know, Abrahamic laws and um, biblical, but we use a thing called trust and equity. Trust and equity. And you'll get, again find that in the first book of Moses, the book in the Old Testament, the Aramaic Hebrew text, Phoenician text of, uh, of Genesis and um, Adam and Eve being stood in front of uh, the Lord God, creator, and um, him saying, kids, yeah, do what you want there. One thing, though, no. don't touch them apples. Them apples are my apples. How do you like them apples? You can't like them apples. They're my apples, Dad said to the children. He went away. He trusted them. They broke the trust. There's an example of one of the first you know, new trust technologies. It wasn't from the Romans. It wasn't from America. It wasn't from Winston Shrow. It wasn't from... Uh, um, you know, any others that say we've got new trust technology we're bringing to you, it's as old as the Old Testament itself. You have ecclesiastical trust and you have Roman secular trust. There are many areas and levels of trust. I briefly took you around three of the most popular ones there. I use um, the Abrahamic ones and uh, we've, uh, we've got a lot to, uh, to look forward to with this. Uh, we've produced an instrument to rival the birth certificate and we're no longer persons, we're man you know, um, authentic flesh and blood man. And we can evidence that for the first time in 2021, as of uh, the 21st of the 12th, 2020, I am my dot com and my private lawful trust. I'd like to say Abrahamic, but I believe before Abraham, Ibrahim, you know, we've got Islam, we've got Christianity and we've got um, Judaism all coming together. I've got um, the darker skin family, the white skin family, and all of those that aren't white Anglo-Saxon Protestants coming together, and I can unbond all of you. Well, I can tell you, no, no, scratch that. I can show you how to unbond yourselves with this technology. We have publications to show you for free, and um, we are very happy, we're very excited. What do you mean, um, the globe world, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> that as well we can do it all but we need to get in the private you need to go from your public legal person to your private lawful womb man and um, we can we can uh, all get together and be um, be untouchable invisible to the romans the boat people you know they row to, to sail a boat if you don't have sails you row and the romans the boat people yeah, we're getting back to land everything's changing round when you actually start doing research on it you know like you think the Romans were this, but actually they were Romans. It was different. It's different. It means Romance. it means a different thing. Yeah. Everything's changing. This is the paradigm after you see they were saying that there should have been a sonic boom as of the twenty first or the twelfth, twenty twenty, but there was a sonic boom. Some of us heard it and some of us didn't. Calendars, you know, um, from again Aztec, Mayan. And, um, and such others up to Gregor well, from Gregorian Enoch, the calendar of Enoch, I believe is the first one I found um, in the Incas, Mayans and Aztec calendars in 2012. Oh, it's the end of the world. Well, 1999, um, for some of us that was around then, you know, it was the millennium bug and um, that was going to be it. Then it was 2012, but then it was now it's, <laughs> it's incredible oh, the, the amount changed. of false you know, That sounds like Nibiru. Nibiru is coming in, in 2013, 2014, 2015, 2000. It's going to be coming in next that's, year. That's what I'm on about. So we've actually now finally had one. I don't know if anybody and you may have referenced and seen the fantastic imagery 
of um, Saturn and Jupiter when they crossed. It made like an eye of God and stars again recently. When I say about weird things happening in the seas of space and heaven and in the firmament above, um, incredible um, times. And we've had a, we've had a, what would you call it? An alch a mental alchemic, a mental alchemy um, in the thought potentiality consciousness, the oceans of, of um, connectivity that we've got, that we all have, you know, connected to. There's been a sonic boom gone off and, uh, and um, we're here, we're there, and things are, uh, you know, we're everywhere and we're nowhere at the same no, time and things are happening. Thing, David. We're, not, we're not as all as clever as you and done as much work on things as you, but many people are waking up and doing their own research. So we're becoming, I suppose you can say, I don't want to use these words, but more intelligent because we're doing our own research and learning what things really mean and what that, you know, we don't live in the fake world, we live in the real world. Oh, you know, let me just say, uh, intellect doesn't necessarily mean, and it isn't a sign of intelligence. Boris, Matt Hancock have got intellect, some, you know, false, given, um, artificial, but they haven't got any intelligence there. Um, many others have got intellect, but no intelligence. I have some um, wisdom and knowledge. I'm not clever as such. I'm just knowledgeable. I'm, I'm quite an idiot in many ways, but bless you, and I know what you're saying. I'm taking it. I'm going to suck it all up. Thank you. But, uh, well, you're no, a different we're person all, now, aren't all... you? So if you look at David now and David 10 years ago, you're a different person now because of what you know. Knowledge. Knowledge is power. That's all it is. It's knowledge. I've chosen to turn off the one-eyed God, the television and television, and I've educated myself and um, started to originate and do doers of the work. To, to make a new road, you first got to walk it to make a new path. You first got to walk it without a journey. There can be no destination. So it doesn't just fall into your lap. Um, and I did this to get an access to my, to my blood. Um, two years, high court battle, 20 grand in Sheffield, absolute bullishizing for what? A bit of paper that, 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 that didn't do me any good. Then I learned there's a language, everyone. It's called legalese. It looks like English. It writes like English. It sounds like English, but it isn't English. But man, David, sister, but and moon, Karen here, are speaking a language that's uh, English, we'll call it. Just English. Old-fashioned uh, Anglo-Saxon English. It looks like... Like the thou does, thou does one, doesn't one. You know, and they talk like that, you know. No. It to me that... It no? Yeah, no, well, yeah, it's oldie no. English. Yeah, I, you have seen the way that I've, when I type sometimes and the scribes have said, why do, you, why, do you, why do you speak like that, David? And ye and thy and thine. Yes, that's old English there, but just anglo saxon Before the Romans and before 1066 and uh, William the Conqueror and the establishment of inner London there. So um, English, it sounds what we're speaking now, everyone, for the purposes of clarity and the avoidances of doubt. Let me give you a disclaimer then. Karen and David here are speaking English. We're not speaking, you know, legalese, but English, it sounds like legalese. It looks like legalese. It writes like legalese, but it is not to be converted into legalese. We're at ease here, soldiers. But the London Temple Roman city and the solicitors and the barristers, if ever you look at uh, the, if anything is legal, which everything in this realm is, that's commercial. Commercial is legal. Legal is the undoing of God's laws, let me tell you now. And uh, I'm getting all in my persona, you know, you know, getting into character. All right. And this is what I do because I am an entertainer more than anything else. I'm not clever. I'm knowledgeable and I'm a wise old bean. That's all it is. And the legalese is deception. Lest you be deceived, my brothers and sisters. OK, we've been deceived. What by? By education. Give me the child and I shall show you the man. That's what's gone off there. Write your name down, David, as a six year old little boy. I wrote my name down all lowercase and the teacher says no. You idiot, that's not your name. You've done it all little letters, David. I'm like, well, uh, what should I do? You use a capital letter, you fool. You know, I'm like, okay, and a capital letter denotes what? It denotes a noun. So they teach you at school what? They teach you in the indoctrination academy there how to write legalese. You know, we call it English grammar, English literature, but they say that you're a person. Well, a person it derives from the Latin word persona. And uh, equity, equity acts on a person. You know, if there's no person, equity will not, legal equity, not biblical, not Abrahamic, not ecclesiastical equity and trust, but uh, legal trust and equity only acts on the person. It, it doesn't aid 
the, the, the person that slumbers and sleeps on his rights is one of the maxims there. It will only affect a person. Well, God is no respecter of persons. So who and what are we here? You know, what language, langu age do we speak? And uh, that's it, really. English is English and legalese is legalese. I, um, in Black's Law definitions of idiot, you know, I'm, uh, I'm an idiot because I do not understand legalese. None of you do. Nobody here in this chat room and on these channels are attorneys of law or uh, licensed to the London Temple VAR Roman Secular Inner 1067 onwards William the Conqueror who made a deal with, you know, uh, <laughs> I'll leave it there. Go and research it. So like legalese, trickery, deception, looks and sounds like English, but actually isn't. And anywhere that's in a contract or business is a legal business registered. Dun & Bradstreet Company's house, which means they are legal. If they're legal, they have to use legalese, which is why you need a solicitor or a barrister, you know, to go and help you out there and translate. Yeah, I, do, you yeah. remember I did your, do you remember I did your video when you were in talking about you were at home and basically saying, well, when someone knocks on the door, you're not supposed to do this, this and this. And unfortunately, <laughs> we, 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 we do it. Oh my goodness, that was so embarrassing because I'd been up about half an hour and I'd got to be in my bonnet about something, hadn't I? And it was on, it was the TV, that's it, the television had got the bailiffs are coming or something um, trying to scare us. Sunday morning, I was like, how dare they? You know, I just got up and the TV is trying to scare the nation with, oh, the sheriffs are coming, the bailiffs are coming. They're not bailiffs and they're not sheriffs. That's another impersonation, just yeah, like the they're language. All, they're all businesses, they aren't they? They're all businesses. Um, they're employed by other people and other businesses. Oh, lest we be deceived, yes. And now we've that's why you started and... looking into things, isn't it? Because you know, you're, you're, you're thrown all this language and everything, and actually, it all means different things. When you go to court for two years, brothers and sisters, and you pay 20 grand for a barrister, and you go to a crown court, yes, and they're odd, odd, and you think it's serious, and then you work out, when you met my mum, she come on one of the hangouts, didn't she? And yeah, said she hello did. to your mama, Julieta. Yeah, that and was Jeremita. the other time, because obviously we're on, a, we're on one of the sister sort of um, channels now, because they took the main channel, but we had a lot of hangouts on there, didn't we? She, that lady, yeah, we did. Brilliant, epic, incredible. Your mum came and, on one uh, of those. So you saw the lady of uh, which, um, you know, carried me and uh, borne me onto this realm. And she was Julia, Jeremita of the clan, Jeremita there, um, you know, no uh, data as such will be given unless I want it to be. But that's um, who it is. You can research. And she was uh, Derby University law lecturer. And she knew her stuff about law. She was very good in her field. And when I said to her, the first way the reason i got into this was because of the courts and i found out through my mum the question was mum why do they wear these gray wigs in the uh, crown courts and she's like oh that's because they all need to appear to be equal and such and such and you know uh, i can't remember everything now but she and, and and then she mentioned about the legal personality i went whoa, whoa, whoa what what's a legal personality i know what a personality is and a celebrity and the stars of Hollywood and those types of, you know, how we glorify the personalities and put them as stars on the concrete floors of Hollywood boulevards and that. But a personality, what do you mean? And she explained and she goes, uh, you know, it's the legalese aspect, personage and barratory. I'm like, what's that? She goes, that's what barristers do when they present something knowingly, knowing it's something else because they're licensed to the bar. And that's how I got into it because I was... Um, you know, having a battle to get access to my property, um, blood boys that I sired, not the crown, not the queen, not the London Temple Bar, and it was like, uh, okay, then, mum, so uh, you're telling me that there's a there's a deception going off that they're trying to wear these wigs to look like um, wolf in sheep's clothing, to be fair, is what they are. But they want to look equality is paramount, you know, and they have all these uh, bullish eyes and maxims and laws and rules to trick us and make us feel at ease. But they're nothing, they're totally separate. And the language and the instruments and everything, it was like a, a real eye-opener. And uh, I thought it was proper, principled, honourable and honest. And it was nothing like that. It's a facade, it's a game. You are viewed as an infant if you have representation. You know, you can only represent something which is previously known. I, man, I'm not known to the Crown London Temple 
bar system or the legal system, but my birth certificate, Mr. David Jeremita, with a date of birth and a national insurance number is Crown copyright property. That can be recognised by the Crown because it's issued mm. by the Crown at the point of registration. But man David cannot be represented. you know why? Because man is not legal, it's law, which is why I do what I do. And I step away from the common law and I go to supreme laws and I went, mom, you just broke my head, really? And that was a paraphrase, to be fair. And I went, I need to do some digging. And when I found out, I went, I'm going to tell everybody about this. Uh, these men are dressing up as Batman, fathers for justice and this, that, the other, which is commendable. And uh, I'm not belittling it in any way, but they need to know that there's more going on than meets the eye. I yield. <laughs> yeah, more than meets the eye. We've just put into a, a different a script, aren't we? Yeah, to be fair, it's yeah, script. How, yeah. how many levels of this are there then, David, in the legal side? Oh, I don't know what you mean there. Um, there was more well, than you've tears. Got legalese, you've got the legalese, uh, you've got the what do you call it? The, the, the law we're putting is with you know, docked and stuff like that. That's another level. How many levels is all this stuff? There's common law. Ah, I've got you. Okay, yeah, they're not levels, they're just, um, they're, well, they are, yeah, we meet them at the at-law level, I have been caught saying that, so you have um, the lower um, levels, the common law is quite high, um, it's not so much, that's not legal as such, you've got maritime, you've got admiralty, that's it, you've maritime. got uniform, yeah, uniform commercial code, so let's just stop, maritime. When you, if you go to court, you're supposed to ask the judge, can you sit in this court? Because sometimes the judges are for other courts, and you need to ask Wait, him, what's your thing, own? Let's just stop and pin it, pin it, pin it, pin it a minute then, pin it a minute, um, right, because that's important what you've just said then, um, because when you do, when you get your next receipt from your shopping supermarché, okay, and you look at that, look at the receipt there, when you've, when you've got the receipt for your goods, Goods come from markets, markets and merchant traders. Um, when you get um, threatened by the uh, bailiffs and sheriffs and whatnot, and they're coming with orders and warrants and they want to seek possession of goods and they've got an order or a warrant, well, an order for taking control of goods and they want to seize because you haven't paid because you've been furloughed or not furloughed and you've lost your um, income and um, the uh, Chancellor of the Exchequer and the government haven't quite done their magic and they've left you out in the cold and then it comes to repayment. Goods goods go from come from markets and, uh, you know, goods are not uh, what I have. I have uh, property and access rights to property. And if you look at your receipt when you buy any goods in a commercial legal realm from the supermarket, that can be food, groceries. Groceries are what uh, they feed animals and uh, the etymological things of grocer and groceries feed feed and animals but your receipt will say merchant merchant teller you have a merchant banker and mer is water mer and chant water song sea chant mer and maid mer water maid maiden um wench maid serving respect to the women um english old pubs serving wench um uh, with nail and eye and um the wicker man um type films have got uh, such references in as well as um english dictionaries and books there so you've got the merchants and the, 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 the maritime and admiralty, um, you know, are, uh, are to be wary of and they are in the court at play. Um, yeah, so you've got uh, common law where you'd think you'd be at, but you're not at common law because these venues are not um, your, they are business and they are not as they seem. So you think you're going to be honourable and attend. And um, it's not you that summons because man, as I said, David can't be recognised because he's not part of the crown um, establishment, but Mr. David um, Jeremita can be summoned because he's the certificate, the uh, the equitable instrument. Oh, the is that where you're put into corporation well, and common law? Is that when or, you're Mister or a plumber or that's corporation? But we're humans, business, aren't we? Capital, capitalized. So when you see a business, it's all capitals. When you get a summons, it's all capital name. Why have you got an all capital name? Why are all businesses having a capital name there? They're never lowercase, are they? Think of a business. Think of a popular one. Think of when you turn on your media streaming device or your technology. How do they promote their business name? All capital text, isn't it? So um, we would reference Lord Coke. And uh, my publications have got these lords and uh, references in to say that dead entities, corporations are dead entities. Mr. Matt Hancock 
is all capitals. Mr. Rishi Sunak, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, the Second Lord of the Treasury, is all capitals. Mr. Boris Johnson, the First Lord of the Treasury, is all capital tech. So you got it. Yeah, you're doing business as Mr. David Jeremito on this court summons. Let's go back to the court where it's a racket and you need to be on a court to play a game and you need a racket because it is a racket um the quote in jordan maxwell there um you know and you need to know these things because if you think that it's man that's been summoned man is not recognized but the person is recognized so you have two of you in the levels of the court and the law we'll start at common law that's outside and as i said walking down the street not expecting to be shanked and murked and then you get uh, you get your trust areas of law um you know um public areas um would be your common law outside and then okay, your private it's areas. So complicated isn't it it's so complicated david <laughs> it's, it is and it isn't but our our man's stuff tribal is not complicated it's only the legal um intervention when you go in into commerce you see commerce is is uh, is kind of private in a way and man is uh, is private too but you've got the public areas out there with loads of companies in them but these companies are privately registered and private businesses like the bank of england's private nobody can go in and investigate it and check it out it's a private banking consortium that lends money to the government you see the government is uh, is publicly run but it's got private men in there you know and companies and businesses to do anything in the globe world so say there's the government but then the government need all these businesses to do their business in there's always another level of this and they've got you know like it'll be a corporation or it'll be a business to, it's all they all need that to make the what they want work it to make it work you can't just do it from them it has to like for instance the queen does own Buckingham Palace, but not the way we think. They put it down that the, the the royals own, or you know, like the it's put. It's not put down that she has owned it, but she is a royal, and so she owns it. Do you see what I mean? So it's she still owns it, but they do it in a certain way. Trusts, yeah. The United Kingdom of Great Britain is not yeah. Britain. It's the Great United Kingdom of Great Britain. It's neither England and Wales. So we have tierages and layers of trusts on land masses. So the UK of GB doesn't exist it's on paper-based format only but yet you think you're in when you go on the internet and you make an account it says where are you what's your name all capital name like on the bank like on the hospital like on the summons for the court all businesses capital so you put black pen must be this ball must be filled in in black pen or online in capitals and black ink on the computer screen it's black the cursor cursive text and uh, you then put the country country for us on this landmass would be uk but we're on when you watch the world cup you go and shout england but you shout in england but you put on the company um you know registration form for your facebook account or wherever it is that's one of the most popular things that people will make you know every day thousands of accounts for that crappy um domain are made and it says uk but yet you watch the world cup and you shout england but yet the uk of gb is also in play there and you've got england and wales so what you know is going on there. and the united kingdom and the united kingdom so there's your tierages of the and that's why you've got but some are land masses and some are fictional paper-based entities and just to just to sort you out with regards to the tierages of the court you got common law outside you got your uh, maritime admiralty ecclesia and ucc so there's four elements running simultaneously within a court jurisdiction. The language used is legalese, which is sound copyright so how, language. How is the you, average man or person supposed to work all that out? You're not. That's why it's a racket and it's a court and it's a game, a game of life. You see, even at the higher crown courts, this is the case. At your lower de facto county and district, this is the case. But there are different venues, have different tierages, so it depends where you are to what is actually running and where you what you can use you can't go into one of these lower de facto venues or even the higher ones that are you running um, admiralty maritime ucc and ecclesia and start quoting constitutional rights because they can't it used to be a flag with gold trim on it and things that we used to look for codes and they're basically boats dry, vessels in dry docks courts they look a bit like a church as well if you notice pews and wooden seats and whatnots and and clerks and clerics and in a shop you have a, a clerk and a cashier and oils and sales and sales and oils and british oils and sales on a boat and we've got a sale on in the january so it's all insane and madness and when you get to this point you think 
Is this man on drugs or is it me that needs some? Shh. <laughs> yeah, it's also complicated. So everybody needs to work out what they're saying in the first place. But well, that's why I opt out of it. We're governed by consent and the uh, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights uh, and other such things that we can use there, as well as what I've said with the um, 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 private side of things. Man's business is not complicated. What we do is not complicated. But legal and trade and the commercial is complicated. So man can go into the commercial very, very easily and um, quite well, which is what my .com has done. I've got a private lawful domain that's not registered, not licensed, not nothing. It's in its fourth year, and um, we haven't done anything, but we're private in public place. But the public can't come into man's private home without the consent or permission. You know, you've got to consent. A bit like a vampire. You know the vampire films, they, uh, they can't come into the home unless they're invited in. I know this is a bad analogy, but think of it because I need to help you out to... Some of you are way advanced and some of you are like, what? So the vampire can only come into the home to suck your blood and invade and take you, massacre you, you know, because he's after the blood. They're not friendly entities. They don't exist. They're fictional. I know that they're not real. Well, allegedly they're not real. There are some blood suckers out there that are real, to be fair, that are vampiristic in their nature. Um, like these companies and the courts, they're very vampiristic. They are um, you know, taking energy and usurpating the uh, the good sweat equity and life and mineral reserves from the planet as we speak, which is, you know, a cannibalistic way of existing. But um, vampires, fictional ones, so be it, need to... Hello, can we come in? You know, the Lost Boys is what I'm referencing there mainly. Vampire Lestat, L L L Anne Rice and so forth, you know, they got to come in and um, be granted. So when you get a knock at the door and they haven't got any reason to be there, you invite them in, which is where one of the maxims of equity comes into play. He, um, not he, sorry, let me, um, equity, will not aid a volunteer in the courtroom. Give me your name. You give that man your name, then you've just volunteered information of your own volition. Now, if when I ask me that, give me your name, ah, well, how can I be a name? I am not a name. Man David is here. And we are not, you know, the defendant. We? What do you mean, we? David and Jeremita. What? And this is how we play it. I refer you to my paperwork. May we have some, uh, you know, we hold a court within a court rather than just, so the door knocking, an officer there, no warrant, no paperwork. Hello there, David. Can we come in? What? Yes, of course. Come in. By all means, you've let them in. You've granted them access. The vampire is in. Not that all officers are vampires. I love you with respect and I honour you. But uh, constables, I love more. But officers, there are good ones out there. They're not all bad. But what they do is operate and work for the Crown of London, which is the, uh, again, in a, you know, so, so it's, uh, it's the way that they do business is vampiristic and not honourable. It's not clear and there's not full disclosure. I, I'll yield again. <laughs> Well, it all Advanced. sounds, you know, for, for simple little me, it all sounds like, well, I need you, David. <laughs> if I get into anything like that or I got a, a, a fine or something, I need you to help me. It's all, it, it, you need, you need to, uh, there's two, there's different law books, isn't there? There's the, I can't remember what it's called now. Um, isn't Don't it a black book? You don't need me. You just need to read and get knowledgeable. I used to be, I've just put onto a profile of me in my early 20s, DJing in places in Sheffield, uh, the Wicker Arches Club, Shush, uh, private public places, events, Zante, Greece, uh, Zakynthos. Um, and I'm 42 anons now. And that was um, a good 15, 20 years ago, mid early 20s. Um, me. Um, not knowing this. So uh, within the last 20 years, you know, I've read you sounds a long time. It is, but I haven't done all of this. It's more 10. You need to, uh, 10 years, you need to familiarise yourself and read others' work or my work and the publications we look at and just know, know thyself. One of, uh, one of the most famous videos out there, you know, Plato, Aristotle, um, Socrates, um, they knew stuff way back when that, you know, um, uh, that, that we don't know now that we've lost, um, you know, flying around in Vimanas, you know, the Lord flew around and no, Lords don't need machines to fly. Lords fly themselves. If you're using a machine to fly, then you're not a Lord, you know, uh, such things as 
um, liquid propulsion and vimanas and uh, whatever it's written in the in the enumeration, you know, Battle of Gilgamesh and Indian Vedic scriptures and texts. There, we was very clever, you know. There's there's, there's buildings and mon you know monuments that that have got you know the the, the megalithic blocks of Lebanon. No machines could do that now. No cranes could lift it. So we were clever back then, and we've lost it now. All I've done is found family, friends, YouTube channels that um, that could help me. So I've got publications. Our dot com. Um, and if I could advertise that, it'd be lovely. And uh, you can put that in the links. Uh, David, you know, what do you make about all those, those um, like statues that keep turning up with writing on them? People keep reporting them everywhere that they keep turning up in places. What? Tell me more. To the geyser stones, they turned up in the 80s. Is that right? I can't remember now. I'm so tired today. Um, the Georgia Garden. Georgia. Yeah, mm -hmm. but people keep finding more of them. Oh, there was that mirrored one that turned up somewhere that got this, that got stolen overnight. That one intrigued me. It was a triangular, 10 foot mirrored one. The Georgia Guide Stones, more uh, uh, recent. Uh, um, was that latter one but they've been around since the 80s and they are four stones um and rectangular slabs um like a mini um i don't want to say it but yeah like a mini um stone henge and um, four slabs held together with a with a top slab um in the ground and they're double-sided four times two is eight so there's eight languages on those slabs saying that in the apocalyptic event cataclysm or something like that cat meow um shh, etymological and uh, <laughs> they've got they've got instructions on how society um, can um, function. But uh, again, I'm self-governing. I don't need to be told how to conduct and govern. Um, good governance comes naturally to me, um, clear cognizance and so forth. But to others, they need to be instructed and told. I find it disturbing that in Georgia, America, stones can turn up. I have got names and things about that, but I'm tired and I can't get into that now. But you research it and it's it's disturbing to say the least. The whole concept of that agenda and whatever it is, um, it worries me, but uh, it doesn't surprise me. You know, it's it's disconcerting to say the least, isn't it? It is. So I'm just making a drink downstairs. My kettle's going. I don't know if you can hear it. And I can't come in here because oh, my daughter stopped now. She was exercising in the living room. So um um, yeah, it's all um, it's all confusing for just the ordinary little person. But I've been lots of any... research and things, don't they? And lots of people like to find out what things mean. So it's good. Well, we've been going for about an hour and ten minutes. Do you wanna? Do you wanna just finish up? Do we want to finish up, or do you want to talk a bit more, David? Because you've talked quite a lot. We can uh, we can finish on a happy subject and then um, end. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, um, we're finished. Yeah, that's flown. I've enjoyed it, and um, there's a lot in there um, as that always. That went very quickly, didn't it? That time today. <laughs> it always goes quickly with you, David. Oh, Prometheus. I am the winged fast man of the uh, Greek mythology. I think I do like the ibis-headed um, Thoth and uh, Hermes Trismegistus and whatnot, but. Uh, Greek mythology, Norse mythology, Egyptian and whatnot, which is actually fact, not mythology. I'd go for Prometheus, the winged um, man, you know, um, the hat, the man that wears the Greek god with the hat and the wings. I would have the spirit of him in me, I think. <laughs> yeah, you've got wings, David. You've got wings. There's even someone there on the picture, isn't there? Even on your icon, there's wings. You've got wings. Oh, and that's um, that's um, Amun Ra. That's my Egyptian. Uh, yes, um, I don't know about that. It's a triangle. There's lots in there. I've taken a lot of hits on that one, actually, good and bad. But uh, um, yes, um, I give you wings. You have got wings. We're all um, angels in our own right, um, just waiting to fly. We've been clipped by deception, and we are here to unclip your wings. That's the bit I fly. don't like, David. Is the deception? Everything you, when you get to it, you think, oh. Deceived again. In de everything is everything is deceived. Yeah. yeah. There Nothing is, is is it seems to be. There is wings on that bird. Yes, it's not a phoenix. It is. It says Amun Ra. Um, Amen is the uh, is one of the most. You got the sun god. You got Aten, Aten, Apep, 
Um, I like the Egyptian deities and gods before monotheistic, before Akhenaten was the one to make, um, before Akhenaten they used to worship many gods. In mythology you'll find that they said gods, Elohim means gods, there was, uh, there was lots of gods, but after Akhenaten they made um, one god kind of like monotheistic, which isn't quite true, I'll argue, but just to keep it brief and end on a happy note, yeah, Aten, the sun. Um, you know, and Ra, Ra is the king and the one, the, the true biggest, highest, most high, um, Amen, Amen at the end of the prayer, Amen, Ra, um, and so you've got Aten, Amen, Isis, Osiris, you know, and uh, and uh, Horus coming from, and the hours of the day, 12, you've got the sun moving through 12 stages of the day, Horus connected to um, Egypt mythology, um, you know, uh, Ra being the sun god, the top, the one, the son of God, the Bible, the sun, Jesus, the sun, the sun, S-O-N, S-U-N, happiness, look at me go. So you've got then the 12 stages of the hours of the sun and then Horus, rise on, Horus, anagram, hours, H-O-U-R-S, Horus, H-O-R-U-S, so Horus and hours are the same word, just, uh, you know... <laughs> Then you've got the 12 stages of the day, the 12 hours stages of the night, you know, separated by Eve. Eve is in the middle. That's where you've got the Eve and Ing. OK, mm, yes, I know. And then it goes back and starts again the next day. He will surely rise again. And he rises where? All eyes on the horizon. Horus rise on. Horus rise on. Horus on. Oh, praise be. Ahmed. Allah Allah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that david i hope that resonated with people though. i love it i live yeah. and breathe it i really do live and breathe it and i am just a messenger a mess age across the say ages some kind of a sage and uh, we'll yield there i am uh, i'm ready for uh, for a breath <gasps> i love you oh i love you too david david thank you for saying all that um hopefully that's resonated with people um if you're mega intelligent, you'd love David. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Everybody's the same. We've just got different qualities um, in us. I am God's little arsted. You know, um, I'm just one of them uh, that uh, questions authority. And if somebody tells me something, who are you? Who says? Yeah, but no, but, you know, and, uh, and that's what I've learned to do. I'm confident and I'm loving and I'm the same as you. And I'm, I'm willing to help anybody. Um, you know, and we've got the, the places in the SPLsPro.com, the publications, the Facebook fam. You go to the .com, you can link to our Facebook, and you can uh, you can come in the private and have a chat with us and study. And we've got 300 and something documents in our resource library, academia.edu. I've got 30 publications that mention the name Sovereign Jeremita. That is my Facebook persona, and I'm quite chuffed for academia.edu to be having 30 three papers, I know, 33 shh, papers in there at present that mention the name Sovereign Jeremita. There's only one, me. Jeremita is quite a rare Sicilian family clan name, and David is my given name, but Sovereign Jeremita. I'll tell you now, there's not many on this realm that go by that calling and uh, clan. So to have that, you know, there, and I'm willing to help anybody uh, for free and um, by proxy of our publications and our self-help places. I can't help you all these videos you know and uh, what the sister's done here and my babble is um is my pleasure all right treasure <laughs> very much so david david we've i've really enjoyed the hangout it's good listening to you i hope it's resonated with people or learned a little bit more or understood a bit more um yeah thank you so much for that david thank you god bless create to bless amen to all ra star far i i and i i'm yielding and saying goodbye good night god bless and um, hopefully we'll see you soon bud and moon hey to my friend david and to the chat room thank you for joining us and um we'll be back soon <laughs> end it press it <laughs> love you I'm bye doing it. i'm doing it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it now <laughs> Love you, bye. Thank you all.